Since the 1800s, many people have used the sign of Jonah as an indication that Jesus did not die on the cross. Because they'll say, since Jesus paralleled himself with Jonah, and Jonah was alive in the belly of the fish, therefore Jesus must have been alive in the heart of the earth. In Matthew chapter 12, verse 40, however, Jesus makes it very clear what's parallel between him and Jonah. He says, For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the fish, so the Son of Man will be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. It was the length of time that was similar, and also the fact that he would be back after that period in the, in the heart of the earth. That is what was parallel, nothing else. Now, it's actually very interesting that many Jews consider Jonah to have been dead in the belly of the, of the whale. If you look very carefully in the book of Jonah, chapter 2, Jonah cries out from what he calls the grave. The word there is Sheol. And that is the very word that Jesus parallels in Matthew chapter 12. He says he will be in Sheol, the grave, the heart of the earth. And this is the place where all Jews consider dead people to go. And so when Jesus was making that parallel, in fact, he used a word that strongly indicates that he would be dead, Sheol. So any indication that Jesus was alive in, in, the, in the tomb is simply an extrapolation that does not exist in the words that he used.